Oh, I'm hoping the camera's in the right angle for this. and welcome back to another video uh, and this time I'm finally getting around to doing a bits and bobs haul video as it has been quite a while but I finally got all my pieces together that I want to show you so let's get started first on to kind of like hair kind of hair beauty kind of thing is uh, these hair grips which are just called hair styling curl clips from Boots and I bought these because I've just started a new job and they said that I wasn't allowed to wear like the bobby pins, hair slidey things, whatever you call them. So I went and bought some hair grips and what's well, hair slides and they're um, very good. I mean, finding things for my hair is very difficult anyway because my hair is very thick and you have to put lots of hairspray on and you have to have lots and lots of clips that are strong and really good for my hair to work. So I'd say that these do a good job. They're not the best clips ever but I did just find a cheapish pair just because I only wear them when I go to work so I didn't want to spend too much money on them um, so yeah bought a couple of packets of these and yeah they're, they're okay uh, the next thing I bought is one of these hair big hair grips and again uh, I need one of these because my other one broke because my hair is so thick it broke it eventually but I did have my other one for a few years and um, this one again I think is either from Boots or Superdrug um, and I just use it when I've had a shower and I need to dry my hair, straighten my hair afterwards. That's it really. That's the only purpose I have for it. Um, don't really use it for anything else. But it does a really good job. It's a really sturdy clip. So if I ever wanted to use it for tying my hair up or something, then I would consider it because it is a very good. And the next one is VO5 Heat Protect, which again is from Superdrug. Now this is one of the best products. VO5 for me are the best products for my hair personally. You might think different, you might not like VO5, it might not work, but for me VO5 is the perfect thing that works with my hair. I mean this is for when you straighten your hair and you put your heat protect on because you must put heat protect on otherwise your hair might you know get ruined and stuff. This stuff is so is just so good it makes my hair as you can see I've freshly straightened it this morning. Not the best but it's freshly straightened this morning um, and it's just so so good it makes my hair straighten really well uh, I also use the VO5 hairspray which again is really good that's the mega hold if anybody is interested um, because I've just found that VO5 works really well like, I can't get any other products that do a good job on my hair because it's really frizzy and curly naturally um, than VO5 does I've also got the um, what do you call it like the, the mousse stuff it's up there I can't see what it's called but you put it on it's like when you dry your hair you put it on so your hair doesn't frizz as much that works very well as well so everything I've had by VO5 is a really good product for me I would recommend it to anybody with really really big styled hair or who wants to do, who wants to do big hair styling use VO5 because that, that is just like a really good product for me and the last uh, beauty one is the Pulp Friction Foam It Booty Body Scrub by Soap and Glory now I don't usually buy Soap and Glory because the prices are extortionate but I decided I wanted to just treat myself and buy one because I got given for Christmas last year a sort of um, a mini selection of like ones I've got I had a foot cream there was a hand cream there was a shower gel body scrub so it was like mini testers in a little box uh, it was really cute and I really liked the products in it and the smells and stuff so I thought why not go and buy this? This was really, really expensive for me anyway. It was around about the £8 mark from Superdrug. Uh, but this smell is amazing. Uh, the only problem I have with this is if you can see there's a hole in the bottom, in the, in the top of the bottle. So when I came to use it, I opened this, squirted it out, but then it squirted out the top. So it, it did get quite messy, but that's just probably because I either didn't notice it when I bought it or it broke when I used it but apart from that the smell is incredible I love soap and glory so much I wish I could afford to buy it on a regular basis but unfortunately I can't but yeah this is lasting me though this is I'm making sure this lasts because it's expensive and I want to use it a lot um so if you, you can afford soap and glory or you just want to have a try of it and use it 
for a little bit then I would recommend to just buy one that you really like the smell of. Alright, a game that I bought quite a while ago really is a Nintendo 3DS game because I don't have many 3DS games and it's Yoshi's New Island. Um, I saw this like for the advert for when it first came out and I wasn't quite sure of the graphics because I thought oh, that looks a little bit weird but it's pretty good, it's just like the Mario games, if you like the Mario Adventure games, but with Yoshi really, and you just go through different worlds and try and complete them and you collect items and things. Really fun, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I think I've nearly come to the end of the world and I've got to go back and collect everything that I've missed. And it's quite, I wouldn't say it's challenging really, it's just a fun game if you're into that kind of platform gaming. The next one is a film, and I was meant to put this in my last haul but forgot, so I'm just putting in this one. And it's a Lego movie. And if you don't love the Lego movie, then I don't know. don't know what you're going to love. This is one of my favourite movies that I've ever seen. It's just... Oh, it's so good. I mean, Lego is awesome anyway. Um, I love... I've said before, I love the Lego games. So this film was amazing. Um, and, yeah. I can't really give much of a review on it. I just really enjoy it. If you like Lego, go and check it out. Because it's a really, really fun watch. And I actually need to get around to watching the DVD because I haven't yet. And last two items, if I can get this in before my factory dies, I got two t-shirts, uh, both from Select, and this one says Living for the Weekend, and it's kind of one of those crop sh um, sleeves, they're not long, but they're not short, they kind of come halfway. Um, forgot how much this was, but again, I like Select, and I hadn't bought anything from Select for a while, so I thought I'd buy that, and I love the material, like it's summery material. I know we're kind of not in summer anymore but it's just so soft to wear and really comfortable and I really really enjoyed wearing it and Select always has good t-shirts I find and the last one was just a, a plain t-shirt because I know I don't have many plain clothes like I've said before I mean it's not partic it's not all plain it does have a bit of white on I don't know if you can see that on camera but I just thought it looked quite nice and I wanted a pink t-shirt just a plain top um, again, f more like summer t-shirts now, but it's really comfortable and fits really well and select have a really good selection. So yeah, that is my whole video, um, my bits and bobs haul. Sorry it's not as long as usual, but I haven't bought as much just because I haven't had any money recently, that, that is, that's the reason. Um, so when I buy some more things I will do another, another haul video. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching, if you did like then please do subscribe if you want to see more of my videos because I am getting into this YouTube thing I really enjoy making videos so I'm hoping you enjoy watching them yeah I think that's about it um yeah if you've not checked out my vlogs please go and check out my vlogs because I've done some daily vlogging and I will see you guys next time with another video